What I'm going to show you now uh, is really important for an understanding of more advanced apps that you can build with application craft. So this is an introduction to server-side JavaScripting. And the app I'm going to show you is a real ugly duckling of an app, but as I said, it contains some really important stuff. Let me put this into preview mode and I'll talk you through it. First of all, what we have here is uh, a very simple front end that shows a list of customers, which you can click on one of them. That has now gone to the server side, retrieved data from a database and brought it back into the front end. Now I'm going to make, for instance, an edit. And then I can save data back to that database. Uh, if I want to, I can also delete things. Um, and what we're doing is we're separating the front end from the back end. So the front end is everything that's really going on here inside the app. And at the back end is all the stuff that reads to the database, uh, reads from the database and writes to the database. Now the reason this is important, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail. One is you can do everything you would need as far as authentication is concerned. Um, so there's a lot of security related reasons. And a sort of another more fundamental reason is if you've got functionality which we have here that's reading to a database from a database, writing, deleting stuff. You don't want to expose those functions through the browser directly because that would mean anyone with a bit of knowledge and nous would be able to, for instance, delete a, delete a load of data uh, just from the browser but in your back-end database. You don't want that. So what we do is we separate the front-end screens from the back-end. Sorry if I'm explaining uh, uh, the obvious to anybody here, but um, just trying to give it a background. Now let me just quickly... Still at the overview level, explain what's going on behind the scenes here in Application Craft. So here we've got obviously the IDE. And if I go into code mode, you'll see we've got um, uh, everything here under app scripts is uh, code that runs on the client. So in your front end application. Okay, in a later video, I'll explain what, what all of this means. But you can see here we've got various functions being executed like when I, when I add a new customer or I edit one or delete one. And then you can see here we've got this folder called server. Now, all within the same IDE, but these functions here are executing in a completely different environment. They're running on the server. And within those, you can see we've got functions like, let me just go into, for instance, here, this DB updates uh, virtual file. You can see here I've got a function I've created called add new or add new customer. And this is actually now using uh, an API call to insert or to update or to delete. Now these functions can't be called from your front end app. So in other words, they're something, you can think of them as being protected, hidden away if you like. So um, in the case of uh, database functionality, which is to be honest one of the most useful things you can do, um, all that functionality is, should be pushed in, in, into this server-side area and you write your scripts then here. And as we'll see in a minute, if I want to call one of these scripts, I actually come back here to the client side and there's a function uh, called call SSJ, call server-side JavaScript, and that communicates from your running app to your back-end scripts. So that's a little bit of, uh, of an overview of some of the concepts. In the, uh, the next videos, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail.